Can I use the tongs to get the attic uh, thing, maybe? Best plan I've got. Was this the attic? No, it wasn't. It was this one. Oh. Doesn't let me actually use anything. Fair enough, I guess. Wait, is that not a fucking fuse box? <laughs> oh. Wait. There's a trapdoor on the floor. I can reach it with these tongs. I can't. Oh, I. <laughs> I can reach it with these tongs. I need something longer. That's what she said. Wait, I'm very confused by this interaction. So looking down is the trapdoor, but it's the trapdoor to the attic? Is it? Because it doesn't look like there's anything actually on the floor. Alright, well I need something longer than the tongs. Which is annoying because that's the best and only idea that I had. Hang on a minute. I still got the key. Does that mean it, wait? If it's a master key, can it open anything? Well, I can't open that one. Wait up! Oh yeah, I went in here before. Huh. So can I open another door with it? I guess that would make sense, but. What door? I thought I'd just like use the key. There, like this. Oh. This key fits in a lot. Well, I hear no evil. Hopefully, it means I'll see no evil. Wait a minute. Evil! Wait, it actually is evil. No, it's going away. That room looks really dark. This switch must turn on the light in the bedroom, but there's no electricity right now. I don't know if I want to go in there then, do I? There's a book open on the table, but it's in Russian or some similar language. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be rushing to conclusions. <laughs> a miniature caravel, just lovely and full of detail. That shiny ass sofa. I don't feel like I should try and go in. <laughs> um, but that is like the only location. Hang on, could I open that study? Because I didn't check any of these locks to see if they had the X. The X of destiny. Let us try. X. Yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. Mm, okay. I hope there's not more downstairs because there might be. Let's change floor. There we go. Um, uh, I guess I should just try them, maybe. Whoa, shit, son. What in the world? They keep doing that. Is that like her going crazy? Like, because the, the the controller's like been vibrating subtly. 
for a long time. And uh, it makes me wonder if it's because of the sanity mechanic. Like maybe if I play as that guy that had no sanity, he'd just be like hearing. Hey, nice. Key worked. Um, wait, isn't this where he went? No, it's just a shitty looking place. Uh, handwritten note dealer then hushes riddle for his daughter Julia. As good fathers always do, they give the kids riddles <laughs> for Christmas. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations, you're one step closer to solving the puzzle I've prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your favourite doll in the safe <laughs> and changed the combination. Since you aspire to become to becoming a detective when you grow up, I think this is a great chance to put your deductive skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our street address. Oh, right. So that's why it's at Sol's age. Let's write this down. So seven is the second one. The decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. I don't remember what the, the street address was. Hugs and kisses from daddy. Um, I find these menus a bit weird. How do I find out the address? That I don't remember now. <laughs> it was a different character though, that's the thing, so I don't know. Oh! Scaffolding goes here. Does it tell you what it is? No. Hmm. Painting by Kaufman, 1945. Of course, it's an original. Of course, it's an old junk. The washer looks like it was here, but from before the house. They built the house. Very funny. Old junk piled up. Nothing helpful. Uh, there's some good wines here, some very good wines, and some very good. And <laughs> there are some good wines here, some very good wines, and some very good and expensive wines. That's a very, very, very strange sentence. <laughs> I guess it's a joke, but I didn't really make sense. East Asian vases, they're fine pieces, such a shame they're kept here. Or as the Americans say, a vase. Hey, fucking yes. Oh, ouch. Uh, something's gone amiss. The fuses are misshapen. What the hell is this? Um... Okay, so there's 25, 50, and 30 amp. Um, and they all have the yellow and black thing. So, what? Oh, I see. Um, oh, I don't really see though. <laughs> Um, because there's the red which is going, the blue one seems to go nowhere. No, the blue one goes to this. Okay. Oh my god, this is confusing. This is complicated. Um. Okay. What have I got? Twenty twenty-five. So ten 
and 15, uh, it's 10 and 15 is 25. I need one to be like that. So these ones, so those two go together, right? Because blue goes to 15, that green goes to there as well. So that's 25 in the first one. This, but this one all goes to all three. So that goes to, um, so I need, to, yeah, okay, so I need 20. Let's, um, so that means 30 has gone to the third one. Wait, no, because the red one also goes to the first one. So that means the middle one, sorry, needs to be the 15. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo won't cut it. <laughs> Fuck you. The fact that that just cancels it out. So, so the middle one is 30, right? Because it's got green and yellow. Well, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, there is 25. No, but I can't make... So. Th Okay, so the bottom right one goes to all three. So what? So I can make 25 with that, I can make 30 with that, but 50 would need to be what? 20... No, 25, 15 is 40. Yeah, okay, so the 10 would need to go to all three. So let's put that there. Now is there, is there, what did I just say about that? 25, no, 25, 15. And then 10, yeah, okay. So I need, I need two to go to another one. Well, I need three actually. But, okay, yeah, blue and red. Um, oh, why does this hurt my brain? So 15 is necessary in two, 20, five, here. Yeah. Right, because that means 10, 15, and 25 are going to the first one, which is 50. Because the red goes to... Oh wait, this isn't right, is it? Because that's 25. Oh, this should be correct. Yeah, that should be right. I believe it will be fine that way. I'll attempt to turn on the switch, see if it works. Hey, lights that barely illuminate anything. <laughs> cool. Can I turn off my candle? Daniel, if you're here, I'm going to find you. And then we can finish. Finally, finish the divorce. In here. Oh, she didn't look, but she could sense that the wardrobe was empty. That was a fun little puzzle. Um, I like little. This is like that because I can solve them. <laughs> They're easy enough for me, and uh, they're sort of a bit more tactile than just putting items together and stuff. So that's kind of always fun. So the the electricity's on. What couldn't I do before? Several things. First of which being turn on the boiler for reasons unknown. Oh, and open the door. That's more importantly. Oh, the piss be running. I'll s I see leaks all over and many different damp spots. Wait, what? I see leaks all over many different damp spots.
They don't stay on though. Um, right, what's this say? Shut down. Press the left button. Start. Press the central button. You can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Let's do that then. Better leave the water on. Okay, so I guess I just fixed it. Keep feeling my controller vibrate. Let's use this. Whole new area. Okay. I can use those just to turn the light on upstairs. Usher must have left none of his folders inside. One of his folders, sorry. Wait, what? Uh, that's just telling me that something's going to go wrong. I mean, I guess I should try and take it, but like, what's going to happen? Oh, I'm bending over into this car. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, just to scare, just an option to scare me. Uh, blue folder, yeah, inspect. How do I open it? Why can't I open that? What do I... What do I do? Press in A and X to use and inspect. Haikus, two out of three. Just a look. The inside looks quite comfortable with every accessory imaginable, really. It looks like a bit of a shitty car to me. Hey. A pick and bucket to use for gardening, I suppose. To mine some coal. A barbecue reminds me of the summer I spent with Daniel, his aunt, and uncle's beach home. Nothing in there though. To pull out with tongs? Locked with a key. Rare is the mansion that doesn't have servant's door. Okay, master one doesn't work. Of course, because it's the master key. I need the servant key. <clears throat> uh, so I got some haikus that I can't even read, apparently. Because she doesn't know how to open <laughs> the folder. I can turn off my light, but... Clock is turn of the century. Still set though. So what did I need the light for? What have I got? Tongs. I can turn on the light. There's something else though that I thought about that I can't remember. I don't know if I can pull out the pages with some tongs, but... Ah, uh, it's so weird having to change the direction of your control. Oh, shit. Do I have to tap? 
Something terrible is drawing near. You need to hide before it's too late. Look around you and find a place where you can go undetected. Once you've interacted with the hiding place, it will appear on the map. The following symbol. Time is short. To run, hold L2. Can you stop making noises? Wait, LTRT? The darkness, keeping calm. You managed to hide from the darkness, but the worst is yet to come. Try to keep a level head to calm down. Follow the rhythm of your heart beat by pressing LT and RT when the white border reaches the center of the circle. Don't let your heart beat too fast or you'll start to panic. Above all else, don't look at it. Okay. I have to press both buttons simultaneously. Did I succeed? <laughs> Was that for real, or, or am I imagining things? Dollhouse is marvellous. This doll wasn't open before, was it? Not even my childhood memories are as old as these toys. What? Not even my childhood memories are as old as these toys. What's this? Another crazy drawing. Second drawing by Saul. A drawing done by Hush's youngest child. Oh yeah, I need to find the... Um I need to remember what the house number was. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a shitty door, that one. That's, uh... Let's just turn on this big spotlight and cry for help, whatever it is. Call for Batman. I would rather not touch those wires. Well, huh. floodlight has handles on it. I think its position can be turned. Wait, why is it indoors now? This is like full on Alan Wake. Does it not have the power to get rid of it? Oh, it does. Hmm. Not sure how the light was <laughs> perfectly uh, looking into the room like that. Let's look at it. Listen first. There. Just the usual tight, uh, distant little footsteps. Black and white photos and sapia prints. They're modern, but I suppose they're trying to give them an antique look. Finish. Hey, gold key. Small gold key hanging from a circle keychain. What's that say? Masher. The potato masher. She was the servant. I guess I can go to that servant door. Julia's room. I've never heard of these bands, I must be getting old. An amusing poster of Through the Looking Glass. I adore Carol, I'd wager everyone thinks it's from Alice in Wonderland opposed to the sequel, which is Through the Looking Glass. Julia and Sol's recording. A voice recording of Hush's children. The label of the cassette reads JNS, September 14th, 98. Mommy's really scared. Hmm. 
like a memory thing? It's filled with medals and trophies. A real pro, this girl. Pro what though? Apparently this wardrobe has been emptied out. Girl seems to be an ace at skating. I've probably forgotten all of my moves. Hey, toothpaste. Oh, it's glue. Oh, cool. I can get in. Um. Oh, combine, combine. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of things I feel like I can do now, and I've totally forgotten where they are. So let's look in the toilet. <laughs> toilet is clogged and it reeks. Oh dear, I see something down there. Wait, seriously? Oh, you can use the tongs. <laughs> we don't have to put your head in it, yeah. Black rag doll. Why would you get that out, though? Can I set this on fire? The mirror is broken. Disgusting. You might as well clean it when you're here. While you're here, uh, there's a bookcase blocking the door. What the devil could have happened? Well, the devil might have happened. Uh oh. This. Masha, is this the nanny? Wait, what? Wait, I died? Wait, what? I just died? Because I didn't listen, and that was it. And now she's gone. <laughs> so that's why there are characters, their lives. Although, presumably you can reset. Like, if press A, it doesn't do anything. <sighs> hmm. That's kind of interesting idea, though. Sort of. Like, I should play the game Obscure on here, on here one day, because that was a... Um, PS2 survival horror game with multiple characters, but you played as two at once, I think, if I remember rightly. But what was cool is that you could pick who you wanted to play as at any point. Um, with like a gang of teenagers or something. And if you died, that character was just gone for the rest of the game. And you could continue as another character. But it kind of made more sense because it was all in one location and then they were all there. But so you can only take two at once to go somewhere, but then and then the rest of them like waited in the in the courtyard or something in the middle of the place. And then like one of them goes off, kind of you die, and then it's like, oh, they've gone lost. We, or the, we should go looking for them, kind of thing. And you played until all the characters died. And that was really really cool way of having lives without being, you know, without being lives, because it actually did make a difference to like the story and, you know, and how successful you kind of were, because you didn't want to lose all of the characters or any of the characters ideally and stuff. Here it's a bit more confusing as to what, like, because they're not, they don't, they don't seem to know about each other. At least I have no idea how, well, how this girl is is related to the story. The others you can care. Well, he, I guess he's. Yeah, he's a housekeeper, so it kind of makes sense. And then he might go after the, the woman when she disappears, but I'm not sure how these connect. But yeah, I guess I'll continue playing next time. I'm going to stop here, though, for a bit, because I need to. I just got a new computer case delivered, so I want to install my stuff into that and do some other stuff today. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will continue playing. It's pretty cool to see a game like this, very classic survival horror game. Um, brutal death system because I guess you there aren't even save points so you just have to complete it in one go I guess 
maybe there's auto saves if you just want to quit the game. I'm not sure, but yeah, that was, that was interesting. So I'll see you. Wait, I actually can't go anywhere until I pick someone. <laughs> okay. I mean, he makes sense for the story. Let's go to Etienne, I guess. And then I'll quit. Losing your character. Sadly, you just lost one of your characters. When this happens, the victim is no longer part of the story. If you lose a character, every item in their inventory will drop to the ground. The location of these items will appear on your map with the following icon. As long as you still have playable characters, your progress in the game will be saved. Be but be careful, if you lose them all, you have to start the restart the episode. That's very interesting. Well, yeah, very... Uh, fuck, I'm sad though, because I didn't realise that would happen. <laughs> Damn, that's brutal. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So yeah, I'll play or next time. I'll see you then. Things look different, or am I crazy? You've got to be kidding me. Firewood. Hey, I can light the fire. <laughs>